all of us saw that in 2016, right, when Hillary lost, that um, we knew that we could not stand and just let this happen. Women became very angry um, and offended, uh, insulted by what they saw going on in Washington. We need more women because women deserve to be at the table. We have the right to hold power. If the job's not getting done, by gosh, I'm gonna step up and do it. And I think that's what we've seen. So Close the Gap recruits. That's the one thing we focus on. We start with districts that we know a progressive woman can win. And then we go in and identify progressive women who we think could be ready to run and who are recommended to us by peers and allies and we tap them on the shoulder and we say, people in your community admire you. They think that you're a strong leader. Would you ever consider running for the state legislature? And we get a lot of no's, but we get a lot of yeses as well. I didn't know what the organization was. I didn't know who Mary Hughes was, uh, but so glad that they reached out because it was through these conversations that I was able to figure out what it is that I needed to do to run two campaigns. I learned from Close the Gap um, that you know there, there are like there is a process that you can take in making the decision and also preparing um, for the election. I think I would tell a woman that's thinking of running in 2020 is that it start now. Start now. I mean that's the advice. If you're going to run, it takes about two years to really become uh, a good candidate and to get people's interest, raise the money, and to really develop as a, um, as a person who folks take seriously. I didn't know where I would fit in. Where does someone like me, you know, an immigrant, Latina, queer woman fit in? Don't listen to that. Don't listen. Run. If this is what matters to you, do it. Running for office is not uh, an exercise in self-discovery. You really have to know your constitution because it will be tested. When I ran, I was the first LGBT person to run in the entire Central Valley uh, of all time. Uh, people are like, oh, you can't get elected, you can't tell. I'm like, I'm gonna lie? I'm not gonna lie about who I am. Like, I fit in everywhere. We have um, this really wonderful, wonderful ability as women of being able to look more globally at issues. And I have served on all women boards. Uh, I know this as from firsthand experience. Uh, we tend to do the deeper dives. We tend to look at not just the problem to be solved at hand, but how the solution is going to bring even broader you know, public benefit. All of the research is very clear. When you have more progressive, pro-choice, democratic women seated at decision-making tables, what you get on the other side is policy and legislation that is more fair more equitable and more just for the entire community. And that really is what this is all about. Let's close the gap, California. Let's close the gap, California. Let's close the gap, California. Let's close the gap, California.